Hola, it's Heather. No makeup day. I'm just going to sit here and paint my nails and chat with you guys. So let's get the chat open. Close Pandora. I don't even know what color I'm going to wear. Okay. I think I got it, you guys. How is everybody? I was going to do a haul. Then I was like, no, I need to list. And then I was like, no, before I list, I need to paint my nails because they're fugly. And no, I don't have makeup on today. Kind of just been doing stuff around the house. Um, yeah. Mom was here listing and she already went home um, for the day. Oh, come on, chat. It is a dirt bowl outside, you guys. Like, the whole sky is dirty. Okay, I have the chat open, finally. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So embarrassing to come on without makeup. Like, do y'all even know how hard the struggle is? Like, to come on... Oh, well, it's, like, basically, like, TV or something. <laughs> Anywho, I have the gel light here. I just figured I'd come on live. Ooh, ooh, and I am um, cleaning my scarf, my Hermes scarf. Hold on. Ooh, I have it laying on a um, towel to air dry, but it's about time to hang it up. I hand washed the scarves, you guys, today. <clears throat> so, yeah, then I can list um, the scarves soon. Hermes. I actually sold the green one for. Um, $75. I think the last video I did said I sold it for like 40 bucks. That was incorrect. I sold it for like 75 So that one I think I'm going to list for like $150. And how much did I pay for it? Like, I don't know, a quarter, 50 cents. Total score. Okay, what color... So I need a couple ingredients here. I'm all ingredients, right? I got my light. Um, in order to do the gel, I guess I should have put in the topic. It's a gel UV light polish. Pre and post application cleaner. So this you rub on your nails to remove the oil. So I already cut them and trimmed them because a couple of them broke. I peeled off the old color today. And then when I was peeling it off, like one or two of my fingernails broke. So I just kind of trimmed them all back to the same length, which these and my thumb get really long. I like kind of yellow too. It's like gross. Anyways, so we have our cleaner, the light, and what color? So we're in February. We're in the middle of February. March comes next. Hmm. I'm not really liking any of my colors. I'm such a brat. Like, oh, I have like over 10 different colors. Okay. I think I'm going to do this purple. Maybe this one. It's like a, I don't know. Let's see. We don't want gray. That's depressing. Um, ooh, how about white? Y'all should tell me, should I do white? Or I have this light purple that I just showed you guys. Or what else? Mm -mm, I'm really pale too. I haven't tanned um, at all, all winter. Just wait till summer gets here. I'll be pretty dark the first week of summer. Watch. Watch me. So we also need a clear coat, so we'll get that out. 
which this is almost gone. Um, let's see. I don't have a light on or anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What else? What color? I think that's it. What color do y'all think? What's that one? That one's not good. That one's not good. Anybody? No. Nobody. Let me see if this black with glitter works. It's too thick. I ordered it on eBay and I should have got my money back on this one because it's really crappy. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. There we have, I think that's the two choices. White or purple. Hey, Pickers. I saw you uh, when I was out at the, what do you call it? The music. Let's just call it the music the other night. And I even recorded you while I was calling you out saying, hey, Pickers. <laughs> you can hear in the video. I deleted one of them, but I don't think I deleted that one. I don't know. Um, everyone is working. Hope more people watch later. Oh, hey, is that Eric from Lubbock? By the way, thanks for the Angela Barr video or music. Is that Eric from Lubbock? <laughs> I think that is from Cooper. Um, let's see. Or there's this tan macchiato color that's pretty old. You're welcome for the music. Yeah, I haven't got to see her in a long time. Or how about this like blue green color? Anybody? No. Okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it's not Eric. Or I have a dark gray. Anybody? Y'all don't like my colors? I think I'm going to go with white. Maybe white. No, I don't have red. I don't know. White or the purple. Let's see which one looks like it's going to paint good. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty color. And you know what? I think I'm going to go with purple because my Apple Watch bracelet uh, has a purple color on right now, which I'm not wearing it today. I only wear it when I go to the office working out um, out of the home. I don't really wear it at home. Okay, so we're not going to use this one because I used it a lot. Purple. Yeah, the purple. Match with my watch. Thanks. Okay. One other thing you have to have, which I use, is a gel primer. And I'm almost out of this one. More reason for purple. Yeah, yeah. Purple's a good killer. I love purple. This thing is almost out. And this is like one of the first items I got when I first started painting my nails. The gel UV light. Freaking the bomb.com. I only go to the salon to do my toes um, for the French tip. But I do my own nails at home. Okay, first step. We're going to clean after you obviously file and trim the same length. You know, like that. <laughs> kind of, that's what I did. Clean it. Na, 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 na. Okay. Clean it. See, and I still have some polish left over, too. I don't have any lights on, you guys, and it's super dark. Well, it looks like it's bright, but it's really not. It's super yucky outside. Okay, you don't have to scrub. And you know what, guys? I forgot to tell you something. <laughs> Mike is serious. Um, before I paint my nails, I like to, uh, like, literally push the cuticle back because it makes your nails grow a lot longer. Like, I'm the worst at cuticles. I cut them off. Like, I don't have any cotton ball. Um, yeah. <clears throat> this is a pointless video, by the way. Again, I just decided I wanted to paint my nails, and 
I thought I'd come live and talk to you guys with no makeup on. Looking like butt. Looking like butt. At least I feel that way. <clears throat> Ooh, y'all want to see my new toy? Too bad I'm not on my laptop. I don't know why. I just decided I would paint my nails here on the old computer. So we're on um, an old desktop. <laughs> And I just figured I'd use it, see if it's still working. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay. So typically you're supposed to use like a pushbacker, but I just use my fingernail. It actually makes your nails tougher the more you use them, ladies. Uh, or tapping them makes them stronger too. But also to make them stronger is to always constantly paint them. Because when you don't paint them, you're uh, exposing it to the water and your nails will break, etc. And men, please, if you have long nails, go away because men should not have long nails ever. Um, I do have this professional like cuticle cutter, but I don't need that yet. Just like on one or two, but um, we're not going to go into huge detail about this bad boy. This thing will cut, cut you sharp. It's like high grade salon style. Okay, so I got that out of the way. Really, it only takes like 15 to 30 minutes, if not 15 to 20 to paint my nails. But obviously talking, it's gonna be longer. And then this cuticle pushback. Oh, okay, my new toy, let me show you. And actually, I can plug it in right here by the... Ooh, that's a good message for once. Um, I can plug it in right here by the computer. I'll move it. <laughs> no, yes. I hope you learned something, though, Eric, that uh, you should have very short nails. <laughs> I hope you do. Um, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you off. But you want to see my new toy? It looks like a bong. It's kind of fun. Yes, I said the word. It's right here. Actually, let me put some lavender in it. I have my little incense going over there. You can't really see it. And my new little salt triangle that I got recently. Oh, look at it. See it? It's almost like I could, I don't know, those cigar stores or whatever. I don't know. Okay, let's plug it in. You know, I should have it back there, but oh, oh. Oh, you guys can't see it unless I pick it up. Okay, ready? So what I'm gonna do is, um, I do sell doTERRA oils, if anybody ever needs any. Um, you can see the mist. Okay, so let me turn it off. This is uh, called Organic Aromas. So it's glass and it's wood base. It has a wood base. I don't know why I can't get that oil off. Okay. We'll dab it in the dab, dab, dab. Okay, so you're supposed to put oil all the way um, inside the top here. What this is is like a nebulizer slash diffuser. So I'm gonna stir this around because I've got like four different oils going in this right now, you guys, so it's gonna be a mixture of all different flavors. I'm going to put this back in my doTERRA box right there. My yellow finger. Okay. There. Okay. My background is so messy. I should be a professional YouTuber with like a beautiful setup, but apparently not. Um, okay. So... I put the oil in it, right? 
then I put the topper back on, which you can do it without that, but this just looks cool. So then this goes into the base. Yeah, watch me break it, right? Um, it's called Organic Diffusers, and I heard about this from YouTube. I had never heard of it. I actually bought this one on uh, eBay for like $22 or $25. It was on sale, or I mean, it was just a used one, right? Um, I think it's kind of broken, but it is working. But if you go on their website, these are like $100. So it's still sort of working. So I'm debating whether or not I'm going to take this back to the store. And why we're not painting my fingernails, I don't know. I just wanted to show you my new toy. Um, so after I put the oil in here it uses no water and no heat right again it's like a nebulizer slash diffuser and that comes off okay y'all ready for the magic it really does smell up the whole entire room but it does use a lot of oil so you guys can't see it but it has a red light changes colors Oh, did y'all want to hear the good news? My kiddo has a B on a roll finally. He was struggling there for a while. So for some reason, my motor keeps going on and off. It's not consistently staying on. But it's like pulsating. So I have a defective one. Um, <laughs> it's defective. But if I turn it on high, the look, it's like spurting out the mist um it smells damn pretty good it is strong it just went straight up my nostril and it was like a hot mustard or whatever like from the asian places anyways i put ginger in here earlier and it went straight up my nose it hurt hey canada guy oreo kid so yeah check out my new b-o-n-g i'm joking it's a diffuser with oil. So I like it. I'm just, like I said, you have four mail out for Friday. That's awesome. Good deal. Sales have been kind of slow, but here and there. So yeah. Okay. We'll put up my new friend here. Let me turn it off and then I'll unplug it. Get it over here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get to tighten the nails. Oh, be quiet, Oreo kid. You're silly. Um, okay. All right. I think I pushed back all the cuticles here. Um, we're gonna have to hurry. Trying to confirm my kiddo what time he gets out of detention. He was running in the hallway after the teacher told him several times to not run. And he, he looks at the teacher and then he just takes off running. That's my kid. Troublemaker. Okay. What am I doing here? We're using this again still. I thought I had my old bottle, but I guess I didn't. I guess I used it all. Okay, once again, so we don't have any oil. The worst thing about um, using that cotton ball is it leaves a lot of shreddings left over. So you have to make sure to wipe that off, you guys. <laughs> no, I haven't seen your new merch, Oreo. Uh, she says, hello. I was looking at... Yes, uh, his young queen. I am a reseller on Poshmark and eBay, Craigslist, um, Facebook, all the works. Yeah, sales have been slow, but I, I'm not even gonna lie. I've had I haven't been listing very much, um, very consistently. 
Okay, usually I don't inspect it for all the hairs and I forget and I just start painting and then I got fuzz balls on my freaking nails. Freaking, can I say that? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why it's taking me so long just to get to painting you guys is um, I have learned so much from the videos I've done um, and learned from my mistakes. So, making sure it's right. Okay, so now that we cleaned off the oil, I have a habit of trying to do both hands at the same time, but you have to do one complete hand first because uh, it gets sticky and tacky and it starts to just absorb a bunch of crud. So I'm all checking my notifications over here. So distracting. Anybody see the uh, Facebook notification bell? It starts wiggling now. Isn't that weird? Okay. So, first step is the gel primer. It's going to help, like, the um, color stick. And this does go underneath the light, by the way, after we get done painting this on. Remember, one hand at a time, Heather. One hand at a time. Patience. Sometimes I forget. And I don't do it correctly. Ooh, I just touched it and it was sticky. This thing is like almost out. I'm telling you guys, I need to... Do I have some more? I don't think I do. Primer? I think I need some new primer. I thought I ordered some. I don't know. I did. I did. I actually didn't order it. I got it from the Ulta store. So. Okay. One hand, Heather, see? Did y'all see me? Are you paying attention? I almost started to paint my other hand. So this is going to go in the light. Um, some of you, again, you may think like, oh, the UV light, it may not be healthy or it may be bad. Um, I actually can get a prescription from my doctor to use a um, like tanning bed or UV light because I have psoriasis which is like just eczema almost on the skin. Like it looks really good right now, but I think in the winter months it get, can get pretty bad. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cleared up right now, but um, yeah, UV light is totally good in moderation. So. so this I think you just do for 15 seconds. Sometimes I just let it sit till the light goes off. It's just a clear coat. It's sticky, so don't touch it. And you should immediately start painting the next nail. Oreo kid, you just got sons, so you're so lucky. You don't have to paint any daughter's fingernails. The guy that painted my toenails recently I had a gift card for Christmas. He had two daughters, and uh, they get, like, really good grades and everything. But uh, he said that he has to do his daughter's toes. He does their fingers and everything. The only condition he has is that they must come to the salon so he doesn't do it at home. Except the wife. I think he might do the wife's at home because she's a nurse and she works pretty hard. You know, nurses, they work hard. <laughs> what would be fun? <laughs> I don't know. I already don't know. Okay. Can y'all see I'm like literally painting freestanding without a table just so you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm actually that good of a painter though too. It's going to be darker when I put a second coat on. I'm not sure I'm really liking this color, but whatever. Hmm. Still think the white would have been cool. Right? Ooh. 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 
biggest tip, if anybody actually is here to watch or learn from the gel UV painting, um, one of the things that I have learned from my mistakes is, uh, so I'm painting now, and if you watch the other YouTubers, it, they say like this kind of gel, you can move it around, like it doesn't dry unless you put it in the light. So like this will stay um, wet until it goes under the light. So before you put it underneath the light, I always take my sharp other fingernail and go around the edges and remove the polish if I didn't get it, if I messed up or whatever. Because if it's on the, dries on the skin, then it starts to peel off real easily after I get done and it's, it's a bummer because then my whole fingernail needs to be repainted. Oh, see an Oreo kid if he had girls. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> he would totally... Don't get any ideas. I don't even think Oreo's still here. Maybe he is, but Pickers, don't give him any ideas. <laughs> You're welcome, his young queen. Oh man. Okay, one side down. So before we do the next one, we gotta put it in the light, the UV light. Girl, I actually have kind of a semi expensive one. It's the Gelish brand, which the Gelish nail UV nail polishes at Sally's. They're like three dollars a bottle. Three dollars. What the heck am I saying? They're like thirteen dollars or more. So I've been buying my polishes on eBay. They're probably toxic as all get out, but you can buy the Gel UV Light polishes for like five bucks and under like any color pretty much um oh i got this one the jellish light at the bins so the pound store you know where they weigh stuff have you watched those videos yet his young queen because you said you just started selling on ebay so i'm sure you've seen the bins or the pound store videos right let me know if you haven't Anyways, I found this light, and it's a bummer because I found it, like, not even a month after I had just bought my first set, but I bought a cheap one, like the Sally Hansen one at Walmart. So when I found this jellish one, I just quit using my uh, Sally Hansen one, and it's, like, still in the garage because it's, like, brand new. And I was going to put it online for sale, but I just never thought I'd get my money back for it. But I guess I would now. I don't know. I just was, I was also worried that this one might break, you guys. I didn't know how long this was, how old it was. So, and sometimes, you guys, I do set this in here twice to let it cure pretty good. Um, she says she doesn't have the bins in Louisiana. That's a bummer. You know, my biological dad lives in Louisiana. He does, he does. That's a bummer you don't have a Benz there, though. Bummer. Okay, got the thumb down. I've only met my dad one time. I could go see him, but you know, why has a girl got to pay to go see her dad when he should pay to come see me, right? <laughs> really no bins, just the regular Goodwill. Darn it. Hey girl, you should totally check out, I don't know if you have, but Kind of seems far-fetched, but it seems like one could watch the uh, the Goodwill um, online boutiques. You know, like there's Goodwill.com. Like my local place even has stuff for listed. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Can't you make offers on there? I wonder if they uh, take good offers. I think you can make offers, can you? If not, I bet we can message the seller on Goodwill. Be like, well, you take this, and then all they got to do is go get it approved by the manager. Like, Goodwill's got a lot of crap, you guys. They doesn't seem likely like that they would sit on stuff. Yeah, so, um, well, that's, there's two different kinds, I guess. So they sell online. Goodwill has their own, like, store. But I think they have them, I don't know if it's, like, worldwide or if you can see each town. I don't know. I thought you could. Don't quote me on that, guys. But um, <laughs> recently, next door to my bins, they opened up a boutique. And it's got, like, they think it's higher end. It's mostly decor stuff. But the clothes that they got in there are, like, hideous. Not even good stuff. There's an actual boutique that they opened. There's a couple, actually, in my town. And they're di named differently. One's called... Uh, Deja Blue, it's like fancy. They have some good stuff, but whatever it doesn't sell, they throw it to my bins anyways, right? Um, but yeah, they just opened up just like a Goodwill one that's not called Deja Blue. And I thought that the lady working in there said that you can get it from them before it goes on the internet. So I'm not sure if she really means like before it goes on the internet or before it goes into the bins where I get it. <laughs> yeah, Good Goodwill definitely has uh, ventured out to boutiques. Okay, so doing my second coat on my first hand. <sighs> I just feel better whenever I'm listing when my, yeah, Deja Blue, for real, fancy. Yes. They do have some fancy stuff, but like I said, the Goodwill <coughs> recently opened up another boutique, but not with a fancy name. So they're like, they got all kinds of things going on right now, don't they? Trying to experiment with stuff, it seems like they are. Sometimes I have a, a worry that what would I do if they ever took my bins away? No, please don't ever take it away. It just seems so good to be true, you guys, like some of the crap we get. My mom listed to a two-piece set. It was just a basic, solid, maroon, size small, racer back athletic shirt, but it was sleepwear, but I thought it was athletic. But that same day, I found a pair of, like, solid black, pre-owned, um, basic, no glitter, no bling or nothing. Um, yoga pants, you know? And I was like, yep, if I have the two and bundle them together, they're the same size, they'll sell. Um, as to if I had just listed the basic racer here and the pants here, they would have been like 10 or $15. Um, but we bundled them together and we listed it for 25 and not even like an hour or two later. Someone made us a $20 offer and got it. So that was awesome. I don't even know what my point was. Okay, clear coat coming on. Sorry, y'all can't see what I'm doing. My silly computer won't bend down that far. Bend down that far. Okay. All right. Oh, there's a comment there. Okay, let me take off this clear real quick. We'll put my nail. You know what I really intentionally was supposed to do while I'm sitting here painting my nails instead of talking to you guys? I didn't really realize I'd have people talking to me, maybe. I was going to come in here and sit down and share a bunch of my mom's listings on Poshmark. Because it says I only need a couple more. Uh, let me show y'all. It says I only, I'm already a posh ambassador. Booby clean. Um, I'm already a posh ambassador. But it says if I share like just a couple more things that I've reached all the goals 
for my posh ambassador. So I'm like, will they upgrade me from a posh ambassador? Or does that, I don't know what it means. Let me see, let me show y'all. So I'm in my phone and there's a, there's a little section here when you click on your username in the right hand corner, you got your card, click your name. And if you scroll down, it says my posh stats. Okay, we're gonna do a second light down here in the light. <laughs> um, my posh stats. So it says I have $6,000 worth of inventory listed right now. Like that's the total value. Each item added together is $6,002. Um, I've made $14,000 on Poshmark since I've signed up, which isn't very much because I've been, see my uh, computer here doesn't zoom in very good. That's why I do videos on my laptop, right? Um, I'll just read it to you. It just says uh, I made 14,000 cents. And just remember, when I first had this account, I was like a part-time seller. Uh, January 2013. So that's not a lot of money at all. I've barely become more into reselling. Mm, so I guess it's pointless to show y'all because y'all can't see, right? Um, oh, you click on You're a Posh Ambassador. Minimum 5,000. Oh, I have 4,609 community shares. That means how many people I've shared their stuff. I'm almost to 5,000, and then I'll have all the green checks on here approved and ready, but this top line I'm not. So does that mean I move up from a posh ambassador? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I put on a clear. So this hand is done so men's clothes and workout clothes sell best for me but higher end isn't selling I don't know if I'm listing too high but everyone is offering me half of what I'm selling for yes ma'am it happens <clears throat> um, I sell my stuff pretty cheap so sure do okay I'm gonna just clean off any oil that might have got on if I touched my hair or something. And I'm going to rub off the fuzz from the cotton ball. And we're going to do our first step on our second hand. It's the gel primer that's almost gone. I don't list very many men's clothes, girl, so I can't tell you on that. I mostly just list women's. This is not coming out very good. Because it's almost gone. This is like perfect timing for me to go pick up my kid. By the time I get done with my nails here with y'all, I'm getting chemically blown over here with this primer I knew Oreo could have bounced pickers I knew he did I kind of just pop in his videos too for like the first minute and then I'm like then I gotta go he's got kiddos too oh boy oh boy they are yeah, uh, I hear that a lot. Uh, his young queen, she says that uh, men do good for her. That's mostly what she sells. She says, I have heard that on um, YouTube. People have talked about that. I cannot wait to go shake out my Hermes scarf. Okay, so we're going to cure the... Um, Primer. I know I said the UV light was good, but just don't shine it in your eyes. That would be my only recommendation. 
Like, I guess I just have to feel the need to tell people. You never know. Don't let your kids stare at the light, guys. Don't stare at the light. <coughs> oh, Lordy. So when will I get to do a haul? So I'm about to go get Tucker. We won't get to do a haul today. I wonder if I can do one Saturday for y'all. Maybe. Oh, I don't need to cure the primer twice, so let's go with the color. They say you don't have to shake these either, you guys, but I do like to just kind of mix it a little bit. So, uh, his young queen, so if you sell a lot of men's, are you picking up uh, Polo Ralph Lauren still? And if you are, are you still selling it? Like, it, is it selling? Or did you say just the higher end brands? Do you consider that still a higher end brand? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm painting my nails. <laughs> Gone's girl Denny. Okay. She retracted her comment. Hi, Heather, she says now. Hello. Welcome. I am just painting. I'm on my second hand. And I totally went out of the lines on this one. You guys can't see. Perlis. Perlis. What the heck is Perlis? Never even heard of it. Uh, doing like a light purple, but I am doing the gel UV uh, light. Because, oh my gosh, it's the bomb.com. It lasts so much longer than regular polish. See, there's my psoriasis. Y'all can see on this hand is worse. Uh, Brooks Brothers. Isn't Brooks Brothers country western? Or is it not? <laughs> Shows you how much men I sell, girl. So, yeah, I'm going to take my other nail and just go around and take off the edge that I got out of the lines, like I colored out of the lines. Now it's perfect. Oh, need a second coat on that one. Yeah, this purple isn't doing my white skin very much good. Oh well. I don't want to tan in the tanning bed. I'd rather just wait till summer. Um, the polish lasts, um, depending on how good you did it, the job, at least, definitely, it always lasts one week. Um, I'd say one to three weeks, so... One to two, one to three, give or take. Depends on how many dishes you're doing, stuff like that. Um, but yes, oh, you want to know why this is better? I'll tell you why. You know how you paint your fingernails and half the, uh, oh, half the color comes off. So you have like half a white nail and half purple, or you have like all this chipping polish. Mm -mm, that doesn't happen with this. These polishes don't chip. They actually peel right off. You know those stickers, like those nail stickers that you can put on and then pull off? These dry like nail polish, but they peel off like the nail stickers. So you don't have that ghetto like chipped polish. You'll just see the edges are like coming off like it's peeling the paint off of it. So... Um, that's a bummer, uh, Denny. My husband's grandpa has it on his head as well. Psoriasis. The nail stickers, I've never been able to get into them. What? I can't think of the brand. What? It, who was the one that sold it? Lindy Glenn. She used to sell the, oh, what was the name of her company that she was with? Stickers, nail stickers, can't remember. I think she said how the company, like, basically, it was just a pyramid scheme. 
like all of them are. So yeah, it looks way more professional with the gel polish than it does painting with regular polish. So no, she did the uh, Jamberry nails, you know, the stay at home mommy kind of work at home. Yeah, Jamberry, that's the name. It just came to me randomly. So, okay, one coat down. I gotta keep watching the clock. I got about 10 to 15 minutes till I have to leave and go get my kid from detention. <laughs> oh, the little SHIT. You know that embarrassing feeling where half your nails chipped off and half of it's like on? Or the paint chips fall on the table and you're like, oh, I need to paint my nails. They're just falling off. Or actually, you do the regular nail polish and like two days later, because you did dishes, it's off. That doesn't happen. You can do dishes with this. Um, it's just like you went to the salon and actually had your nails professionally done. They're like that, that um, great. So... Let's see. <clears throat> no makeup today for me. I've just been at the house cleaning up crap and organizing stuff. Oh, doing laundry. I went through my kids. A huge pile of clothes that we got rid of out of his closet that he didn't need anymore for when we have a garage sale this summer. Thank you. She says they look awesome. I really like them. Wait till I put both hands up, right? Put a clear coat on. And too bad I don't have a darker color so y'all can see it. Like, so right now, like I can already like touch stuff and I can hit stuff and I don't have to worry about scratching it or anything. Like it's like, bam. Bam, bam. And they say you do thin coats. You don't even need thick coats on this. But you do need two coats at least. So. I wonder if I can do this freestanding. Freestanding. Something happened with this hand. For some reason it looks really bad. <laughs> this thumb, I mean. What happened to you? So right, we'll paint right over it, maybe. Just gonna leave it. Oh. Okay. God, it's rough looking. It's for some reason it's just y'all can't see it. It looks just fine in the video. Okay. Um, in my town right now, we're in like the biggest drought ever. We haven't had rain in, I don't know, I might be just guessing 99 days or 90 days or I don't know. I'm just throwing out a random number there. Thank you so much, Denny and his young queen. Um, but this morning you could smell rain, so we're hoping tomorrow... I think they say it might rain. You guys, you can get these gel UV lights like super cheap. Like I said, Walmart sells them now, 20, 30 bucks. So worth it, so worth it. I paint my nails like every two, three weeks. Um, and they last. And I no longer have to worry about them looking ghetto when they're chipping. Oh, it rained. Where are you at, Denny? It's so warm. Yeah, it's warm here, too. Super warm. Like, it, like I put my kid in shorts today. Today's the first time I think he's had shorts in forever. 
Um, let me see what it says. I don't like the iPhone weather app. It's never right. It never matches like other people. Um, let me see what the weather says. Sometimes I still use it though. Because I don't have my own weather app. I just don't like to check the weather often. It says that it's 79 degrees today in Texas. And the dirt is a blowing. What's the wind now? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm, it doesn't say the wind mile per hour, does it? Yeah, windy. It's windy here. So in my town, we have, uh, back in the day, there was a, there's a book about it and everything. The Dust Bowl Kid. Then there's another, probably some other stuff about a huge dust bowl that happened here in Lubbock. Like, every year we have windy times and there's cotton fields and stuff. So the whole freaking sky is just like dirt blown. Like as if, you know, stuff was on fire and like smoke's blowing everywhere, but it's not, it's like actual dirt. So the sky is brown. Did I make myself clear? I think I did. <laughs> I like to repeat myself a lot. Because my kids and my husband don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm joking. I have to repeat it a million times. Okay, clear coat. And then we're done. Well, there is a last step and the last step. Uh, if anybody leaves, if anybody cares, is to clean. My first time I ever painted my nails with this gel thing, I didn't read the instructions all the way. I was like, yeah, I got this. You know, they're they're pretty, right? They look they look great. Which did I do clear? Yeah, I did, right? I think no, I didn't do clear. Did I? No. But anyways, I didn't do clear on this right hand. Um. But anyways, they're all shiny, and so I get in my car, and I, Marco Polo, it's this video app that I talk to friends to, um, it's like Snapchat, I don't use Snapchat, but you can send like unlimited videos to your friends, anyways, I'm doing a video to her, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, my nails are sticky, like all this fur and this fuzz keeps sticking to my nails, why is it doing this? And she's like, um, I think she's not even quite sure because she was new to it when I started it too. Haley's who I'm talking about. Um, sometimes she pops in my uh, YouTube videos. But anyways, I, <laughs> she's like, um, I think yeah, that there's a cleaner that you put on that removes the tackiness. So um, <clears throat> after you paint your nails, you use this pre and post application cleaner and you just gently rub it straight down and it's like a fingernail polish remover and it just takes off this stickiness. So sorry let me show you three nails left. And that one down there. It's so cool that this stuff never dries until you put it underneath the light. So a lot of people are attracting messages today. <laughs> I don't even have a moderator in my chat. Is that something I'm supposed to advertise out loud? I don't care. I'm watching it. Okay, one more nail. Getting so tired of doing this. Okay. Oh, you wouldn't, <laughs> girl, you would have learned quick because if not, you would have had like fuzzy fingernails, like literally fuzzy, like every lint, please, please, every lint piece that is floating in the air will just like tacky stick onto this. So it's amazing. You can go on Poshmark, I'm sure, and buy one of these lights for super cheap. Um, don't ever let the price get to you guys down for your first investment. It's totally freaking worth it. Again, I got my first light at the bins. It was used. And a year later, I'm still using it. So, yeah. And the Sally Hansen one from Walmart works just the same. 
briefcase to put my gel primer up. I've got my clear. There's my neighbor getting home from work. It's 4.38. Must be nice to get off before 5. Purple. So yeah, this Belly Philly I got on eBay for, again, less than like 5 bucks. But you can get all your beautiful, expensive colors at Sally's, you know, the beauty supply store. At least that's what they're called here in Texas. So. Oh. It rained all last week and today for his young queen? Oh, lucky you. Yeah, no, all our ponds are, like, really small, like... The shorelines are like dried up like crazy. We'll make it though. Okay, I'm just curating the last light, you guys, and then we're gonna remove the tacky. Then I got 10 minutes to go get my kid. Perfect timing, this video was perfect meant to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, been with my mom all day. <laughs> like that's my excuse. Oh, that is a bummer. Oh. She says it was Mardi Gras, so it wasn't the best timing for the rain. No. Isn't that a bummer? Um, I'm not sure if this is the third time I put my dang hand in this light. Let's see. We'll just let it finish. It doesn't hurt to, I don't think, I've never noticed a difference to overdo the light a little bit. Unless you're sensitive to light, disclaimer there, you can get sunburn from this. However, I get like super tan in the summer, you guys. Like I look like Mexican in the summer and I'm not. I have a little bit of Spanish, but it's hard to believe this white girl looks Mexican in the summer. It's like that and I don't burn. Okay, so tacky removal. So this basically is the finished touch. The tacky removal won't make it look any different. You can see I went out of the lines a little bit there, <laughs> not too much. But yeah, I mean, it looks way better in actual person, you guys. So if you think it looks good on this old blurry, like, uh, Mac, then just imagine what it looks like in person. It's shiny too. Look at that shine. Let's see if it's that shiny after I remove the tacky because I don't think it is as much. I'm just going to use that same cotton ball. That's oil from my new toy that I got. Um, so we're going to just use the same one. Put some little cleaner. And then just a small recommendation for those of you who don't like overthink chemicals. If you're using fingernail polish remover or you use this uh, tacky remover, please wash your hands afterwards because the alcohol and all that is still on your hand. So I do have like a germ phobe of immediately wanting to wash my nails after I'm done. So again, there's the finishing touches. Still has a little bit of a shine. Some polishes when you're using the remover, you'll see color come off, but I think you just need to cure in the light more. So red carpet. I think I got this at Sally's maybe. I think maybe. Let's see. Shiny? Shiny or not? Yep, yeah, still got a shiny. A shiny. And I only did one coat of the shiny. I'm sure some people may do too. So for, for, for real, I really like it. Oh, thanks. I hope somebody learned something off of this. I've been doing videos, which I haven't done these polishing videos in several months because I don't get a lot of views on them. I just thought I'd come on and chat. Um, but I've done a lot of videos of me like learning how to, um, just learning how to do the uh, polish. Just don't listen to the one where I'm like telling people to put oil on first and I don't use the uh, remover. So before I started learning, I uh, 
realize that that remover was to remove the oil and if you do it'll help the polish stick better i was like literally thinking that all the polish and this cleaner stuff dries out your nails because you know you have the primer it seems like it dries out your nail i was rubbing my nails with cuticle oil which let's go ahead and do that except it's not in here it must be in my bedroom hold on guys i'll show you it's the bomb i gotta show you but yeah do the cuticle oil after you paint your nails let's see <coughs> Okay, get all this chemical off. And let me see if this oil should be right over here. I don't see it. Well, that's a bummer. I had the, you guys probably have seen it. It's a little bitty uh, mango oil. Like, oh, it smells delicious. And it even has a real mango like leaf or something inside the little oil. Super cheap. So just rub it on your nails. Oh, it's going to bother me that I don't know where it's at. Anywho, guys, thanks for chatting with me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the chat box below. I promise I will be doing a haul soon. I have already been to the bins. I went yesterday. Um, I'm going to hang it up on my rack professionally like I did uh, yesterday in a haul for y'all. Was it yesterday or the day before? Anywho, I think I spent like... Forty to sixty dollars. So I do have a big haul for you guys. Maybe, maybe it'll be Saturday that I will show you guys. If not, it'll be Monday. So love you guys. Excuse the no makeup makeup day. It was nice chatting with you, Denny. Would love for you to come back. If you're not aware, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. And it notifies you of your favorite YouTubers' uh, videos when they go live or when they upload a new video, it will send a notification to your phone. So, yes, I can't wait to do the video for you guys. See you later. Bye, guys.